Mad Maggie is the new legend and a hell of a legend at that. She fits in with the meta very well due to the amount of movement needed to keep up with the raising skill gap. Her tactical brings one hell of a game changer due, due to getting rid of cover, which a lot of high level players really depend on. Her ultimate can confuse and disorientate the enemy, bringing absolute chaos. But you know how to play Mad Maggie, but how exactly do you master Mad Maggie? Let's go through some of her abilities, giving you tips and tricks per the ability. First up, her tactical, the Riot Drill. I have a bunch of tips for this, so if you want to see other parts of the Mad Maggie kit, i.e. her ultimate, etc., um, I've put chapters below so you can skip to what you want to know. But Riot Drill is one of the, my favourite additions to the ability pool for the past few seasons. As I said in the intro, a lot of high level players utilise cover much better than anyone in bronze and gold. Uh, Mad Maggie allows you to throw a real curveball and take away that cover, making the enemy scramble, panic, uh, which then allows you to beam them as they you know, proceed to walk away. The ability is really good on doors, so if you're holding a door and if they move to the right, you can open the door and basically swing the door round and it will continue blasting the enemy. You can also use your tactical if you're healing or shielding. So if you're popping a shield or popping a syringe, you can actually fire off your tactical mid heal. Not many people know this, but it's really, really awesome to see and it's really awesome to use because it, as I said, it can really confuse the enemy. And I think that's, that's really what Mad Maggie is good for, is just being a complete, utter, you know, ball of chaos. Um, but as I said, you can you can basically um, hold a door, shield, and fire your, your riot drill at the same time. Um, so it's just really good if, if you are blocking it and your tactical comes off cooldown, but you're still healing, you can continue to apply pressure as you, you know, re, you know, reshield or, or, or heal yourself. Uh, you can also aim down sight of your gun to get a closer look as to where your riot drill is going. So if you're firing it from a long distance, you can basically aim and fire it as far as you want. A good way to practice, as I keep saying, is jump into the firing range and just keep firing your 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 uh, tactical just to see kind of how how far it goes, how you can kind of move around with it. Um, firing range is always a good way to practice things, and that's one of my biggest tips anyway. You can also use the drill to cover the noise of 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 yourself healing or even reviving a down teammate. It's always a good tactic when the enemy doesn't know whether to push or not and whilst they're trying to make that decision which can take 2-3 to three seconds you can pop off a cheeky shield cell and, and, or even a battery if you wanted to but when you fire your tactical they won't know what you're doing in, in that building, behind that rock, behind that, that container um, and it's really fun to use because as I said it can really confuse the enemy. Um, or as I said, it can it can it can it can cover the noise of you reviving someone, which is is massive, especially in those final rings. My last tip for the white drill is to be careful when and how you use it. The last thing you want is to need it and not have it. So don't use it as freely in a fight as it could secure the kill if used correctly. I also just want to take a quick moment and say I make a ton of guides and tips and tricks. So if you want to continuously updated guides for the meta, just, just just drop a cheeky subscription. And if you want to help the video, just give it a little like and comment. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, onto Mad Maggie's passive. There isn't much to say about her passive, if I'm honest. It's pretty straightforward. If you aren't using shotguns, you'll be losing out on a huge part of Mad Maggie's kit. So I would definitely try and utilize shotguns as much as as much as you possibly can. You run the same speed with the shotgun out than having both of your guns holstered. However, I have to be honest. Sometimes when I play Mad Maggie, I put my shotgun away as a habit of when I play other legends. Um, but you will run the same speed with your shotgun out in your hands as to when you're not got your guns out, I guess I should say. Um, which is really good. The shotgun buff is awesome. It's like having an octane stim during a fight. Being able to throw the enemy off by moving faster, by, you know, by strafing left and right is huge in the higher ranks. As people in the higher ranks are very good at tracking uh, 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 you know, tracking their enemies. So when you get that that little speed buff from Mad Maggie, and, and as I said, Octane Stim, it can be really, really good for you. Um, Mad Maggie's other passive, where it highlights people when you damage on them, works really well with all of her abilities. This is what I really enjoy. As all abilities, all of her abilities cause damage. Her ultimate, her shotgun passive, um, and her tactical, they all work in synergy with this. And you can beam through the riot drill fire at the outlines of your enemy. But it does only last a second, so it's not as OP as we thought it would be. 
a good trick here is to use thermite grenades. So um, basically what, I, what I'm saying is, is when you damage the enemy with a thermite, it will highlight them for a longer time as, it's, as, as the damage is, co is more continuous. Um, I love doing this as it really catches the enemy off guard and it allows you to really secure that kill, uh, you know, if you're fighting inside a building, you're fighting behind a rock or a container, etc. Now, Mad Maggie's Ultimate. Mad Maggie's Ultimate, I find him super fun. And the reason why I find it so fun and so good, and why I think it fits in the meta, is, is how diverse the Ultimate is, okay? So you can throw the Ultimate if you're outside the ring to get into the ring quicker. You can throw it at the enemy if you've downed one or downed two to get to the enemy quicker. You can use it to escape the enemy if the fight is not going in your favor. Now, when you throw it out, the ball kind of bounces left and right creates a you know a little kind of zigzag of blue uh, blue kind of speed boost now you don't need to zigzag when you run between them because each dot will get you to the next speed boost so you don't have to zigzag i see a lot of people zigzagging you can just run in a straight line over over all of them um it gives your teammates a a, a boost like so if your teammates down and they go over the the speed boost they will get a speed boost which allows them to get away from the fight so that you can drop a cheeky res. Maybe throw a right draw out and cover the noise of you resin, like I said earlier. Um, but that's a really good tool. Uh, but her ultimate is so good. I would just be very careful about where you throw it. So it will bounce off of walls, off of stairs. So just be careful. A, a good way is to use it in a building as it will bounce off all the walls, confusing the enemy. If someone's camping, it's like open season when you throw that when you throw that wrecking ball in it is open season it's 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 super super fun to use but just be careful of kind of using it um the cooldown is super low i really enjoy the gold helmet on mad maggie as it allows you to get her ultimate super quickly and you can use it as i said in so many different ways that can help your team and that's what mad maggie's I, I find I think she's really diverse as a as a legend. She has uh, tactical, which helps herself and can help her teammates. Her passive, which helps herself. Passive, which helps herself. And her ultimate, which can help herself, her teammate, etc. I I just think she's a really lovely addition to the Apex Legends games. But as I said, the cooldown is really low, so just don't be afraid to use the ultimate um, for various reasons. Um, Mad Maggie is great. I'm super excited to see who they introduce next. Um, if I haven't covered someone, a legend that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything you want my help on tutorial wise, uh, I can do my best to cover that. So just, just let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Mad Maggie is super awesome right now. And there's just so many ways to play her. But with that, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, f no. Oh, f Are you dead? 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 Don't look at me! <laughs> <laughs>